hello guys welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how i prepared this masa stuffed with minced meat very delicious thank you to 300 subscribers please if you're just coming across this channel for the first time please don't make it your last stick together and you won't regret it so this is my unparboiled rice i'll be putting in four cups in there and this is the fourth cup I'll wash it thoroughly you have to be careful and make sure your rice is properly washed so that you don't um, end up having some dirt in it and after washing it I'm going to put in some clean water and cover it and leave it to soak for about four hours and after four hours you can see my rice is soaked I'll be pouring it into my blending cup or jug And after scooping all, I'll be putting a cup of boiled rice, and this rice is hot. I'll mix them together. You can see the steam from the rice on the blender, and I'm doing that because I'll be adding my yeast, and I want um, the fermentation process to take place faster, and if the, the, the butter is warm, it's going to be um, fermented faster. So... I'll be adding a tablespoon of my dried instant yeast into this and I'll add some little water and blend until smooth. So I'm done blending. I'll be pouring the butter in my bowl. You can see how smooth this butter looks. Then I'll go in with my sugar and salt you can make it the way you want the taste you want you can adjust it i'll cover it with a cellophane and a cloth to keep it warm so for my minced meat i'll crush some garlic and i'll put some olive oil with my chopped onions i'll fry until the onions is translucent you can see I've also added my garlic while frying. Then I'll go in with my minced meat. Add some salt and some black pepper. Then I'll keep mixing until it's well fried and cooked. You can see the bubbles from my rice masa is ready. It's fermented. So to my pan now, I'll be pouring in some olive oil, allow it to heat up, and I'll be putting in the butter in it. You can choose to put onions in your butter if you want, or if you don't want, you can decide to leave it. So I'll be adding some of the minced meat into the butter. Then I'll top it up with some butter. I'll continue the process, putting the masa butter putting some minced meat but you have to top it up immediately to cover the meat so that it doesn't get cooked before you do that so i'll keep on flipping on either side you can see my meat is inside though some of it is showing outside you flip so that um, your masa can be well cooked inside else you have some raw parts in the inner part so i love to flip it um, each minute on low heat on the either side so that my masa can be well cooked I'll continue the process if you want it very brown golden brown you can keep frying or cooking um, if you want it light brown we all have our choices so you can see my masa is ready I'll begin to remove it and sometimes you can know that your masa is not cooked by the time you put in the stick in it it brings out a whitish paste you know that the masa is not cooked from inside but when you begin to poke the masa with the stick and you don't see the whitish um, butter popping up you know that your masa is well cooked inside so I'll continue the process sorry this video 
was short because I didn't want it to be lengthy. So thank you for watching this. And do me a favor if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that. Hit on the notification bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you. The returning subscriber, thank you too. This is my delicious masa. Guys, look at this. You can see the meat in there in the masa. So, thank you. And see you in my next video. It's your girl, Ndi Pauline. Bye. Bye.